Lucian rebated it the 15th of November 1903 to the 24th of August 1972 was a French author journalist and intellectual he is known as an exponent of fascism and virulent antisemite but also as the author of Les Deux Etendards, regarded by some as one of the greatest novels of the post-war era. Biography Early life Rebaitet was born and died in Moras and Valore, Drome. As a young man, Rebaitet was educated in saint Chamond, Loire. From 1923 to 1927 he studied at the Sorbonne, after which he became an insurance agent. It was only in 1929 that he began his career as a writer, becoming a music and film critic the latter under the pseudonym François Vinoy for the far-right integralist Action Française newspaper. In 1932 Rebaitet became a contributor to the right-wing newspaper Je suis Partout, for which he wrote until the Allied liberation in 1944. In 1938 he became head of information for Action Française and worked closely with the movement's founder, Charles Morris. Long before the outbreak of war between France and Nazi Germany, Rebaitet expressed sympathy for National Socialism, notably in his articles for Je suis Partout, I am everywhere in which he accused Jews of fomenting a war to topple Adolf Hitler's regime. In 1940 he was drafted into the French army and, although he served, openly hoped for a short and disastrous war for France. Collaboration <inaudible> 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 After the fall of France he became a radio reporter for the Vichy government. He soon left this post, as well as Action Française, to join Jacques Doriot's newspaper Cri du Pupil, and to continue his writings for Je suis Partout. In 1942 Rebaitet published a lengthy pamphlet entitled Les Décombres, The Ruins, in which he traced the forces he believed to have led France to its fall. He firmly accused Third Republic politicians and its military leadership, as well as French Jews, who he claimed were the prime cause of France's political and military woes. Les Décombres is the clearest expression of Rebaitet's fascism, as well as his most virulently anti-Semitic work. The same year, he began writing Les Deux Étendards, The Two Standards, his first novel. In August 1944 Rebaitet fled France for Germany, traveling to the Sigmaringen enclave place of refuge for Vichy authorities as well as the more famous French writer, Céline. It was in Sigmaringen that Rebaitet completed Les Deux Étendards, which would be published in 1952 by Gallimard. He was arrested in Austria in 1945. <laughs> After the war Rebaitet was sent back to France and, in 1946, received a death sentence, which was commuted to forced labour the next year. Released from prison in 1952, he returned to journalism in 1953, becoming the director of the literary section of Dimanche Maiden. In 1954, Gallimard published Rebaitet's second novel, Les Epis Mers, The Ripe Grains. His final work was A History of Music which he began writing in 1965, and which was published by Lafont in 1969. Although Rebaitet continued to proclaim his adherence to fascism until his death, his antisemitism became less pronounced after the war, showing even admiration for the state of Israel. Despite his controversial biography, there are those, such as George Steiner, who claim that Lucien Rebaitet was a great writer, and that Les Deux Etendards in particular deserves to be considered an important novel in French literary history. Cultural references Rebated is depicted in Jonathan Little's historical novel Les Bienvalentes, where he is a friend of the main character Maximilian Aua. <laughs> 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 Topic: Life 